<clears throat> Hi everyone, Sailor Moon, Sailor G Sailor Pluto here, and today we're going to talk about, yeah, we're going to now talk about holy talismans or solar talismans. Now, for those who may not know, there are things called a holy talisman. Now, a talisman is a and is a Afro Arabic Arabic loan word, and it's an outlander word into English. It's not native. I you could say holy soul, but really you don't really even we don't even know if there's even a word. You know. Now, people might ask. You already talked about heart crystals and sailor seeds or or star seeds. And now you're going to talk about holy talismans and how they work. Now, they are very hard to explain, and I don't even truly know how they work. And you would think that, well, geez, you spent two seasons devoted to those. You know, Sailor Moon and the Talisman, season one, season two, and even argument for season four, but I really don't know. Now, holy talismans, just like star seeds or sailor crystal, well, actually, no, I guess you call it, not sailor crystals, heart crystals, sorry. They kind of react to the person's body the same way that a heart crystal or a star seed would. Once a person ends up losing them, they're either go unconscious or they're incoherent. Now, everybody is going to our people are going to say that a heart crystal comes from the heart, a star seed comes from the person's forehead, and some people make an argument that the heart crystal, the star seed, is the soul. Now, if now if I already made the argument, then it would be the holy soul. Then, two Germanic English words right there. And if God gives a person a soul or a holy soul then losing that would mean losing their life force. Now, and I'm not even sure how they work, and I've had it done many times. I mean, I've seen it done, unfortunately. We've stopped foes who try to get people's holy souls, you know, and it's not really good. I mean, I still don't know how they work, and I've been doing that for a long time. You want to go on? Yeah, sure, Sailor Moon. As Sailor Moon's putting it, the difference between a holy talisman or a holy soul and a star seed or a heart crystal is hard to explain. But they seem to have the same the same thing. If a person loses their holy talisman or a holy soul, then they go incoherent, go unconscious. And if it's not returned in a certain period of time, they may actually die. Now, luckily, in season one and season two and even season four of Sailor Moon and the Talismans, or also renamed, they were actually called something else. In season one and season two, they were called Solar Talismans or Solar Soul for some reason. And that was during the first two seasons. Season three focused more on energy. And season four went back to the holy talisman or the holy soul. Now you might say, what's the difference between a holy talisman and a holy soul and a solar talisman and a solar soul? I really don't know to tell you the exact truth. Just because I work as a keeper of time and I work with God doesn't actually doesn't mean I know exactly everything. But we can determine that a Holy soul, just like a heart crystal or a star seed, is a part of the person's soul, and without it, they could die. Well, first they go unconscious, incoherent, and in some cases, they may actually die. But luckily, it, it never happened, of course. And every one of the sailor soldiers, except for the elders, because we were not even a part of the first two seat, well, we were a part of the second two. And a crossover episode. But we were never a part of the first season or even the third season. 
and we might be a part of the fourth season, but it hasn't really been determined yet. But regardless of that, there's still things about the holy talisman or the solar talisman or the holy soul I don't know about, you know. So your guess is good as mine. Anyway, I'm sure a lot of people are going to say, well, wait a minute. Isn't a holy soul just uh, another name for a heart crystal or a star seed? In in beholding, yes, you know. And if you've seen my, if you've seen a moving show on heart crystals and star seeds, you know, then you'll probably understand. But I don't understand. I'm dealing with this, and I still don't understand it. You're like, well, come on, Sailor Moon. You mean you you save people? Who had their holy souls taken, or holy talismans, or whatever you want to call them, holy souls, and you had it done to you and you twice, and you don't even know what its properties are, what it does. No, I don't. You know, God never explained that to us, you know. So I really don't know. I have no clue of how it works, what its properties are. If a holy soul is the same thing as a heart crystal or a star seed i really don't know but i do know that i know this much when someone loses their holy soul they go unconscious and incoherent just like when they lose a heart crystal but unlike when they lose a star seed from their forehead they don't turn into some fiend that uh you know, happens to Max happens to change into some fiend that acts like a sailor warrior, but um, has their skill, but then tries to use it to murder you with. So I don't know. And why do they need them for? Well, there are 99 sails that's that, that hell has been sealed up with. And the idea is that a holy soul or a holy talisman or a solar talisman, whatever you want to call it, Apparently, it's powerful enough to break these cells. Now, actually, they never been able to actually do it. Can I finish it off, Sailor Moon? Sure. As Sailor Moon put it, they never really been able to do it. So, can you go on? Sure, Sailor Pluto. Thank you. As Sailor Moon put it, they never really been able to do it. And be and the beholding, yes, they claim they're powerful, but really they're not. You know. Because since they never actually were able to accomplish this, because Sailor Moon and Sailor Mercury and Sailor Mars and Sailor Jupiter and Sailor Venus and Sailor Earth and I guess now Sailor Sun have only been able to stop them. So they've never really been able to accomplish this. But in beholding, according to Lucifer, before he, when he was the second king of hell, he claimed that it could be done. That was his beholding. Carly claimed it was his beholding, and he's the current fourth, the current third king of hell. But and beholding, yes, but in practice, probably not actually works. You know, it's like they think that a holy soul can do it, but they really don't know. So they just collect them because they think they can, but in reality, I don't know. And to if a holy soul or a, soul, a holy soul, or a star seed, or a heart crystal, or even a solar talisman, or a holy talisman, whatever you want to call it, you know, talisman's outlander word, I really don't know what their properties are, and if all three of them are the same thing, or they're three different things. You know, some people say that a star seed's a person's soul, some say that a heart crystal's a person's soul. Now, I would want to say a holy soul would be a person's soul or a holy talisman would be the person's soul, but I really don't know. Your guess is good as mine, you know. So that's it. Hope you enjoyed this moving show. Sail a moon, sail a Pluto. See you later.